Welcome back to Boots and Bunny Homestead, back in Casey's kitchen. This is late spring when I am videoing this, and most people have already done pulled up all of their, well, I say from like probably zone five-ish, maybe six down, has already done pulled up all of their root crops getting ready for their summer crops. Well, I pulled up all of my turnips, and this has probably been two or three months ago. I pulled them out of the ground, knocked most of the dirt off of them, put them in a gallon bag with a little bit of water, stuck them in the refrigerator, and they're still perfectly fine. This is like probably three months later, almost four, probably four months later. They've been in the refrigerator, and they are still perfectly solid and hard and they look fabulous. So today I've got to get them out of the refrigerator because I am needing more room um, for all of the crops and everything that I'm fixing to start bringing in. I'm trying to cycle some things out and get some room made. So wanted to bring you guys a quick turnip recipe. This video is not going to be very long, fingers crossed, unless I get to rambling on like I do sometimes. But we're just going to um, do a recipe in the Instapot with turnips. Now don't let this dishearten you if you don't like turnips, okay? Because I didn't either. And then I tried this recipe, my, ba my dad told me about it, and I was like, okay, well, I'll give it a whirl. No big deal. Who doesn't like it? So I did it, and they turned out really great. Really super great. So I couldn't wait to make it again this year, and now has come that time. So I'm going to show you how I prepare the turnips, what we do to, to cook them, and then I'll show you what they look like at the end. So first off, I wanted to show you, this is what our turnips look like, um, being that they have been in the refrigerator for almost four months. So being in the cool air, yes, they did go ahead and sprout the tops, but it's not going to hurt the actual turnip itself. It's not going to make them bitter or anything like that. Um, these are still perfectly fine. And I've gotten got several of them that have little sprouts on them, and that's okay. That's just what happens whenever you keep them cold. And you can actually do this to onion bottoms too. Go ahead and have them sprouting in the refrigerator, and then you you have green onions if you want to keep them. Anyways, that's not what this video is about. So all we're gonna do to these turnips is we're just going to um, dice them up. I'm gonna say about half inch to one inch, no bigger than one inch. Um, or you could slice them in probably about quarter inch thick slices. They do hold together better in the um, like half inch um, diced up little cubes. They do hold up better than slicing. But you can slice them and just see what works for you. Do some that are sliced, do some that are cubed and see which one you like better. I'm going to cube mine up and put them straight into the Instapot. <coughs> Excuse me. Now in this, we're not going to use the rack in the bottom. We are just going to put them straight in there um, with some water and a few other things and then we'll get it turned on. So let me get these chopped up real quick. We have all of these in here. That was four medium-sized turnips, and um, I would say it's probably four or five cups in there at the moment. So to that, I'm going to add probably about three-fourths of a cup, maybe about one cup of water in there. You don't want much, just enough to keep it from sticking. Now the secret ingredient that I'm putting in here that's going to make these just is sugar. Now, I know a lot of people don't like the taste of turnips because them being very earthy, um, having sometimes a bitter, you know, just earthy taste. <laughs> you either like them or you don't. Well, this is going to allow that taste to sweeten and get rid of that bitterness, get rid of that dirt, ground, earthy taste. Uh, kind of like beets and the sugar is going to allow that to um, dissipate and it's going to absorb the sugar. Now you can use whatever your diet allows as a sweetener. 
in this Instapot recipe, or you can really just boil it on the stove if you want. This is only going to take, once we put this in here and stir it up, um, actually I'm not going to stir it up. I'm just going to kind of sprinkle it on top and just kind of move it around a little bit, not stirring it too much because I don't want it to stick on the bottom. Um, and then we are just going to put this on manual and let it go for 10 minutes and they'll be ready. Not going to use all of the half a cup. I probably got, let's see, probably about a third of a cup is what I used. Once I got to looking at it, I was like, mm, I don't think so. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of poke this around and let the water kind of get on the turnips to absorb that sugar. I'll let you guys take a look. All right. See, I didn't really mix it in. You can still see some of the sugar on there. Also to this, we are going to add a little bit of homemade lard. Now this is just a regular fat, so it does have a little bit of that pork flavor. You can also add bacon or ham or anything to it that you want to add a little bit of that richer flavor. So we're just going to add a couple of tablespoons of this in here. Sprinkle it around and um, just kind of... Like I said a while ago, just kind of poke around just a little bit, not really mixing it too much. And um, then they're ready. So we've got the water, we've got the sugar, and we've got the bacon fat for flavor. Okay, right, let's go ahead and put our top on here. Push it down and turn it just a little bit. Make sure it is in the sealed position, however your Instapot allows. And from here on mine, I have to push pressure cook. I'm going to turn it down to about 10 minutes and then take it off to keep warm and then that is my manual. Some of them will have a manual button here and then you just adjust your time to 10 minutes and either press start or hit manual, whatever you need to do to make it start going. So now we wait. Alright guys, it is done. Let's see what they look like. You always want to open this top away from you. That's what they look like. Ah, oh, it smells good. It smells so sweet. Okay, guys, so there you go. It's a quick instant pot turnip recipe that you can use as a side, or if you're a vegetarian, you can just eat it right out of the pot once it cools off, of course. So anyways guys, I hope this changes your taste buds and allows you to try turnips if you don't like them or gives you something a little bit different if you've never had them this way. So go out and try it. Let me know how you like it. We'll see you next time guys. Bye!